Hi, I'm Jen Cheatham. And I'm Ebony Bridwell Mitchell. And we are excited to be co-chairing the Education Leadership Organizations and Entrepreneurship Program, or ELOE. I'll start by saying that I got into this work um, originally as a teacher because of my in, in my belief in the inherent capability of children, my realization, my uncomfortable realization that the systems of education in our country weren't created to cultivate that, that capability, um, and my drive to make change, uh, both as a teacher and a leader who does the work really through activism, right? An activist spirit. Ebony, how about you? Both of us had very similar drives. I think the one thing that I would add is that I actually started off thinking that I was going to be in public policy. I have a degree from the Kennedy School, um, but it was working as a sixth grade teacher in East New York, Brooklyn, where it just became so clear to me that what drives the kind of change and improvement that we need, um, not only that we need, but that our students deserve, um, is happening on the ground in school contexts through the work of leaders and entrepreneurs who are trying to change organizations and systems for the better. The goals of the program are really about developing the ne next generation of change leaders, which has always been needed, but perhaps now more than ever, we need leaders who understand what it means to lead for equity. We need leaders who understand organizations and leaders who are innovators, both working within existing organizations and outside of them. Um, is there anything you would add to that, Ebony? I think um, you've said everything exactly right. And I think the only thing um, I would add is really to emphasize for people how the way we're able to help students accomplish these goals, help our program accomplish this, accomplish these goals is really through a set of core competencies that are central to the work that we do in this program. It actually is a feature of our program, one of them that I'm most proud of, making sure that students have this coherent experience around which they can develop their own professional learning plan to help them move forward on five competencies, five things we think all leaders really need to know, to be able to do, um, and to be able to be in terms of their own dispositions. And those competencies include being able to lead change and think strategically. A second one is being able to foster productive organizational conditions, to navigate politics, but also to practice political inclusion. A fourth competency is really making sure our students can communicate effectively, but also that they're able to develop themselves as well as others. I mean, it's through these competencies that our program is really able to help students accomplish the goals that we've set out for ourselves as a program. Um, and we have lots of key features for the program. And Jen, I think it'd be great if you could share some of those specifically with the uh, potential candidates. Absolutely. I think it starts with, um, at its uh, core, probably the course offerings, right? Our, our course offerings um, have been curated, aligned to the core competencies that Ebony just described. Um, they are, of course, taught by an amazing faculty using a variety of teaching methods and modalities, including opportunities for field work. Um, and the ELO, ELOE core experience um, really brings every student together as a community for inspiration, for reflection on an integration on what they're learning in class, and maybe most important, monitoring their own progress toward a set of goals that they've defined for themselves in a professional learning plan. I think the most important thing for students to know, there's a variety of roles that one might assume, like that's what our program is designed for, but really what we're hoping for, what the most important thing is, is that any role that our students decide to assume is really about expanding opportunities. It's about improving young people's life outcomes. It's about addressing systemic inequities that are tied to race and wealth and gender and the regions that people come from. Um, and with that kind of larger goal in mind for the kinds of roles students will take, our program can really prepare students for a variety of leadership roles, not only in the U.S., but around the globe. And that includes things like becoming a future principal or a school designer, becoming a leader of a district or the head of a nonprofit or an advocacy organization, 
founding your own startup, being a leader in higher education administration, or a leader in local, state, and federal agencies. Our program is really designed to prepare students, to set them up well, to be leaders in any and all of these contexts. What are some things that really every applicant to the program should probably know, Jen? Well, I think the first is related to what you just said, Ebony. I mean, people in the program will be graduating to make impact in all different areas of the sector. So the ELO program is for students with wide ranging professional backgrounds, right? There's no specific profile. We want people who want to make change in the education sector. The second thing I would highlight is that an ELOE uh, candidate needs to be ready and willing to be part of the professional community that they're joining, right? Willing to be challenged, willing to challenge others, explore multiple perspectives. And the last thing I would highlight is that um, in ELOE, students, um, you know, they, they need to be ready and willing to collaborate with a diverse community of learners to transform the education sector, right? This is about creating more expansive opportunities, equitable outcomes, and ultimately the betterment of society. That's what we're about. <laughs>